<clears throat> very good evening uh, to you all, uh, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. So we thank our uh, Almighty God and our Savior for giving uh, this wonderful opportunity to study His wonderful words of life. So last week uh, we studied about the part one of the uh, three world where we studied uh, that the world uh, in the Bible uh, means uh, a system or a society a different uh, setup. Therefore, we see uh, from the Bible that uh, uh, we see in the beginning, in the first world, God created the heavens uh, and the earth. And uh, uh, what was the specialty of the, you see, uh, uh, first world uh, is that we saw that uh, uh, the first world, uh, human beings uh, used to live for more than uh, 100 uh, years, 120, sorry, more than uh, 800, 900 years. So the longest uh, living man uh, was uh, Methuselah, who lived for uh, 969 years. So <clears throat> all these things, uh, you see, we have uh, studied uh, uh, from the Bible. And we also saw what was the reason for them to live for such a long period. You see, we saw that uh, uh, the uh, secret behind this was the a water canopy that was actually uh, created, you see, by God on the second day. So that water canopy gave uh, protection uh, uh, from the ultraviolet rays and direct sun rays from eating the earth. And therefore, the environment was very pleasant. There was no rain. There was no sun rays directly coming and hitting that harmful sun rays. But uh, uh, all the animals and, uh, uh, you see, and human beings were pure vegetarian. So what happened in the first world, uh, we see is that, uh, you see, uh, in the first world, uh, the thing that was happened was that uh, the angels uh, sinned uh, by committing adultery. So how did the angels commit adultery? You see, uh, that angels actually <coughs> were permitted to come in human form, uh, in flesh, in the first world. So once they came in human form, you see, they committed uh, fornication uh, uh, with... Uh, a beautiful uh, woman uh, of those days. And to them, the Jains were born. And these Jains uh, completely dominated, uh, you see, the whole world and uh, subdued it into wickedness. And uh, the whole uh, uh, world was filled with uh, evil, you see. And God decided to destroy this first world. Hence, God chose Noah. And along with him, eight people, uh, uh, you see, uh, including him, eight people were saved. And... Uh, how the uh, destruction happened? It was through the you know, flood that came for 40 days, 40 nights. A heavy rain came. And uh, how did the heavy rain came when there was no rain in the, uh, you see, the first world, that water canopy was completely destroyed. So, uh, Noah was in the ark. And Noah came out of the ark. And Mount Ararat, he landed on the same earth. It's the same globe, you see, but uh, a different system, a different setup. So, since then, you see, the second world began, you see, and Noah, you see, he continued to do the same thing which he did actually in the first world. Okay, Noah, what did you do in the first world? You see, let us read Genesis 9 chapter, verse 20 and 21. Uh, any uh, the brother or sister can read? Nita, sister, Bissal, brother. अने तिनले दाखमत बाट पिए र मत्त भए अने आफ्नो पाल भित्र तिनले आफुलाई नाङ्गो तुलाए अनि कनानको बुवा हामीले आफ्नो बुबाको नग्नता देखो र बाहिर आफ्नो दुई दाजुभाइलाई बतायो वेरी गुड स्टार सो हियर इट सेज दैट नोवा वाज अ हस्बन्ड म्यान वाज अ हस्बन्ड म्यान मीन्स व्हाट बिगन टु बी अ हस्बन्ड मीन्स व्हाट दैट मीन्स ही वाज डूइंग द सेम यू सी Work in the first world. So, what was the work that was he was doing? He was uh, cultivating. You see. So, what uh, type of cultivation did Noah do? If you see, <clears throat> Noah planted a vineyard. See, usually we also we, if we do some cultivation, say whatever uh, grows in our field, we try to consume some of those things. So, so similarly, Noah, you see. He made wine out of the graves and drank. 
But here in this verse, it is clearly given that Noah was drunk. You see, he was drunk in such a way that he lay naked in his tent. So, how can the right of Noah, you see, drink to such a stage and fall unconscious in his, you see, tent? Many people, especially the Christian people, you see, they take excuse of these things and tell the Oh, there's nothing wrong in drinking. We can also drink because the writer Noah is drunk. But uh, dear brother, you see, Noah drank wine. But today, you see, in the wine shop, you see, instead of wine, there are many more other things which are sold. And uh, there is a lot of difference between the wine that, uh, you see, is recorded in the Bible and the wine that is uh, sold, uh, you see, today in the world. So what does the Bible say? The Bible says, you see, the drunkard shall never enter the kingdom of God. You see, let us read 1 Corinthians 6.10. 1 Corinthians 6.10. Bissell, brother, can you read, brother? Nor thieves, nor convictious, nor drunkard, nor reveler, nor extraneer shall inherit the kingdoms of God. Aha, uh -huh, very good. You see, no drunkards shall enter the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. That means, you see, drunkards uh, are not allowed in the kingdom of God. So, how did uh, you know, Noah justified? Uh, so many people take his excuse uh, and uh, drink. Uh, Noah drank full bottle. I'll take only a little bit. Nothing will happen if I take a little bit. Uh, but I'm not going to drink like Noah. But what does the Bible say? If you drink little or more, let it be anything. Nobody shall enter the kingdom of God. Uh, then why did Noah drink actually? See, Noah was a person who lived in two setups. He lived in the first world for 600 years and he lived in the second world 350 years. So total, Noah was a person who lived in two different environments. See, in the first world, there was a water canopy. The sun rays used to never come and hit the earth directly. So the fermentation process, you see, used to never happen in the first world. But uh, when the second world uh, started, you see, the water canopy was destroyed. You see, and Noah, unaware of this one, as he used to do in the first world, he stored the wine and began to drink it. So what happened? Uh, you see, then, you see, he got uh, intoxicated. Uh, you see, and that is the reason Noah lay naked in his tent. He drank without knowledge of this fermentation process had happened. But there is no record in the Bible that Noah drank later. Okay. Now, it is through the three sons of Noah that the entire, you see, the whole world was populated. Now, who are the three sons? Who does the three sons signify? Genesis 9.18. Anita, sister, can you read Genesis 9.18? Ani nuaka chura ru jo jahat bata niskira aye. Sem ham ra e pethi. Ani ham chahi kanan ko buao. Very good, sir. So, Shem, Ham and Japheth. These were the three sons of Noah. So, who does these three sons of Noah represent? You proceed, you proceed. These three people represent three different continent of people who are living. First of all, whom does the Canaan represent? You see, let us read Genesis 9.25. Anita, sister, can you again please read Genesis 9.25? It says, Kanan is cursed. He shall be servant, you see, of servants and to his brethren. The whole mankind after sin, they were all servants to sin. But here, Kanan shall be servants to those people who are servants to sin, it seems. So, these are the cursed people. 
Who are these, sir? You see, dear brother, these are the people, you see, you got settled in the you see, uh, South, uh, Western, Asia, or the nearby the Africa, Kana. you see, continent, uh, you see, nearby the Canaan place. Remember, the people of Israel, they actually went and uh, dwelt in a promised land, the land of Canaan. But uh, the land of Canaan was actually, you see, composed of the wicked people. Eh? And, uh, you see, and we also know that the people of Israel, how they were uh, servants, uh, you see, in uh, Egyptian bondage. So this represents the class of people who shall be like servants. Okay. Now who does Japheth represent? Read verse 27. Uh, Nita sister, can you read 27 verse? Permissurely, ye pet lay, bodaun a ani usle sim ka paloruma, bas gorus, ani conan usku dasos. Very good. See, Jafet shall be enlarged, God shall enlarge Jafet. He shall dwell in the tents of Shem, Kanan shall be his servants, it seems. Now, who are these Jafetites? You see, these are the ruling people. You see, who dwell in the tents of Shem. That means they won't uh, be dwelling in their place, but they will dwell in the place of Shem, it seems. And it is to this Kanan, you see, the brand that, uh, you see, huh? uh, they shall be servants. So who does this represent? If you see, this represents the ruling class. So you can see, it is the Britishers who ruled over all the world, who established colonies in all the places. You see, therefore, that represents uh, the European continent people. Okay. Now, whom does Shem represent? What did uh, Noah bless to his son Shem? Genesis 9.26. Anita, uh, sister, Genesis 9.26, can you read? Ani tin le bane sem ka poram prabhu parmeshur dhan ne ka hon ra kanan usko das dos. Very good. So, uh, blessed uh, be the Lord God of Shem. Kanan shall be his servants. That means the Shemites are God-seeking people. Therefore, if you see, all the religions on this world are come out from Asia. You take Judaism, you take uh, Islam, you take Christianity, you take Hinduism, you take Jainism. All the religions sprang out of Asia continent. So this represents the Asians. Okay. During those times, the whole world had a single language. The language was common. There was no different, different languages. And because of that oneness, they began to build a tower, a very great uh, tower to go and reach to heaven. Why? Because in case if any flood comes, they might escape, uh, you see, and be saved. They forgot uh, the promise of God to Noah which uh, God had told to Noah that henceforth I shall never destroy this earth by a flood. Hence, uh, God saw that this was totally confusion what mankind was building at our to reach heaven. Hence, God confused the language, uh, completely confused each and every language. Uh, so, all the people got settled in various parts of the world where they had different languages. Dear brethren, you see, so, you see, all the people with the one-one languages got settled in different parts of the world. Therefore, today, in this world, there are more than 2,500 languages. You see, in India alone, there are more than 250 languages. You see, so, such a the world developed and second world began to, you see, populate. And there was an important person in the second world. And that important person was Abraham. We all know about Father Abraham, that he was a, a rich man. You see, he had a very immense wealth. He had everything. He had a beautiful wife also, but not have any hair. For his property, 
he did not have any child but uh, when god called him at age of 75 years told him to come to the promised land and that in thy seed all the nations of the earth should be blessed abraham in faith left his land and uh, walked towards the promised land and it is during that time that uh, when he was uh, age of 100 years and sara was 90 years uh, abraham was blessed with a son his name was isaac then isaac began to grow you see he grew up to be a young lad when uh, you see abraham was uh, you see 125 years old that is the time that god called abraham and told him to go and offer his beloved son isaac as a sacrifice on mount moriah you see it was very difficult task for abraham but abraham had faith you see he increased in his faith he developed in his faith then uh, on mount moriah you see as he was supposed to you see ha huh? sacrifice his son uh, there came a voice from heaven abraham abraham lay not your hand upon the child then seeing the faith of abraham god made a very very important promise that is recorded in the bible the whole bible stands upon this promise now what is the promise read genesis 22nd chapter 16 to 18 bisal brother can you read genesis 22 16 to 18 param prabhu bhanu huncha maile aapne naam ma sabat gaeko chu ki taile yo kaam gareko le pratira chhora le artha tero eutai छोरा मट नरोको मश्चय नई तला आशीष दिने तेरे संतान को वृद्धि कर आकाश का तारा रुद्र का किनार का बालुआ सरह मूल्याने तेरे संतान ने आपको शत्रु का सहर कब्जा करने तेरे संतान द्वारा पृथ्वी का सब जाति आशीर्वादी होने क्योंकि तैं मेरे वचन पालन करी गुड सी Yeah, God made a beautiful promise, a very important promise. He swore upon Himself and said, "In thy seed, all the nations of this earth shall be blessed." You see, they shall be made like the stars of the sky and sand of the sea shore. Now, why did God tell or make these two types of promise? Stars in the sky, sand in the sea shore. You see, God could have made any one of them, no? You see, nobody can count the stars in the sky. Can we count it? No. Scientists say and tell that uh, you see the stars in the sky are uh, you see infinite. Nobody can count the stars. Sir. It is innumerable. Similarly, nobody can count even the granules of the sand in the seashore. We can we count it? No, it's impossible. God could have made only a single promise. Why did God make these two types of promise? In your seed, I shall bless the whole family of the earth like stars of the sky and sand of the seashore. You see, why? Because this represents the two salvations: one, the earthly salvation; other, you see, the heavenly salvation. Heavenly salvation, earthly salvation. You see, the stars are above in the sky. that represents the heavenly salvation the sand in the sea shore is on the earth that represents the earthly salvation so god told to abraham that in thy seed there will be two salvations the heavenly salvation and the earthly salvation now who are the people who go to the heavenly salvation now who are the people who come to the earthly salvation who are the stars of the sky and who are the sand of the sea shore you see dear brethren jesus came You see, ah, uh, two thousand years before, you see, but before uh, Jesus came, none of the people were promised that they will be taken to the heavenly salvation. This heavenly salvation was promised only after Jesus comes. Therefore, who is the people who come to the stand of the seashore? Are the people who lived before Jesus Christ? Uh, only the people who lived. Uh, after the first advent of jesus christ they will be granted the privilege you see for the heavenly salvation okay now if i ask you this question 
who is the greatest person of all this earth? You see, who is the greatest person uh, that is written in the Old Testament? If asked this question, what will be your answer? Who is the greatest person in the Old Testament? Bisal brother, Nita sister, who can be the greatest person in the Old Testament? There were so many people now. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, David, Enoch. You see, everybody was there now. So who is the greatest among all the persons? Bisal brother, Nita sister, any answer? Maybe Moses. Ah, very good. Maybe Moses, because he parted the Red Sea, he delivered the Israel people to the promised land. Very good. Six lakhs Jews were, you see, completely, huh? you see, taken care by Moses. Moses was the greatest person now. Uh -huh, very good. Nita sister, would you like to answer? Any of your opinion? Do you have any suggestions? Purana Kararma did very patching man in Surati, you know. Kesma of Topeko, the analysis of Banda Mahanje Koti, one was again. Nita Mosa Abraham Abraham. Oh, good. Okay. Abraham sacrifices his son. Good. Now, let us see what does the Bible say. Matthew 11 11. Read with her. Matthew 11 11. Uh, Bishop brother, can you read Matthew 11 11? Okay. Uh, Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, that hath not risen, risen uh, greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding, he that, I, that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. Uh, greater than he. Okay. Nita, sister, can you re uh, read the same thing in Nepali? Motimerlai, Satsu Bandatu, Istri Arubata, John Mikaru Made, Batisma Dine, Yona Bandatulu, Kuhi Uteko China, Tori Panishurgaku, Rajima, Josawe Banda Sanota, to any Bandatulota. Very good. See, it says, Who is the greatest of all the person? Does it say Moses? Does it say Abraham? Does it say David? No. The greatest of all the person. Is John the Baptist. You see, we are not telling it. Jesus himself is saying, from Adam till Jesus first advent, who is the greatest person? If you see, it is John the Baptist. You see, among all the people who were ever born on this earth, John the Baptist is the greatest of all the person. Okay. Now, definitely, that means John the Baptist should be in heaven, no? He should have gone to heaven, no? Huh? But what did Jesus say? You see? Jesus said, nevertheless, you see, nevertheless, the smallest person who comes to the kingdom of heaven is still greater than John the Baptist. That means, John the Baptist might be greater than all the persons on earth, but he can never come to heaven. Because the person who comes for the heavenly salvation, the last person, is still greater than the John the Baptist. That means John the Baptist will be little lower than the person who has come for the heavenly salvation. There is a gap. This verse clearly tells John the Baptist can never go to heavenly salvation. That is the difference. Heavenly salvation is there. Earthly salvation is there. All the persons who lived before Christ first advent, they all come to the earthly salvation. All the people who live after Jesus Christ first advent come to the heavenly salvation. Therefore, you see, huh? what did Jesus say? How many people are there in heaven? Let us read John 3.13. John 3.13. Uh, Bishal brother, can you read? And no man had ascended up to heaven, but he that came from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. How many people went to heaven? How many people went to heaven? What did Jesus say? How many people? No one. No one? Aha. Uh -huh. You see, but everybody thinks that they all went to heaven. 
dear brother jesus clearly says no one has one time that is the reason jesus says because they are all the part of the earthly salvation then what happened to abraham yena kelia you see ha huh? all those things we study in the coming days dear brother but the bible clearly says that none of these people went to heaven not even david read acts 234 Nita sister can you read acts 234 Kina ki Daud surga haruma uklenan tara uni afai bhandachan param prabhu le mera prabhu lai bhannu bhayo Aha you see so David never went to heaven where are they John 528 Nita sister John 528 इस कुरा में अचम नमान क्योंकि तो घड़ी आई रह जिसमें चिहान भि रह सब स्वर सुन्ने वेरी गुड दट आर इन द ग्रेव एवरीबडी आर इन द ग्रेव ओंगली दे विल हियर द सन अफ मैन वॉइस एट सैकेंड एट वेन्ट दे कम आउट ऑफ द ग्रेव टिल देन नो बडी विल कम आउट ऑफ द डेड दे आर ऑल लाइन डेड इन द ग्रेव Jesus tells this or not me? Okay, when will they come up? Read First Thessalonians four sixteen. First Thessalonians four sixteen. Nita, stop please. Kina ki, kina ki, Prabhu, abey, agya rupi, kaula so sita, pradhan surga dudko, avaj ra parmeshu ko turai ko saath ma surga bata orli. जेरेमिया what is the reward for them what is the prize you see the bible says they shall be on earth they will be given a better resurrection a beautiful resurrection read hebrews 11 chapter 39 and 40 uh, bisar brother can you read hebrews 11 chapter 39 and 40 and these all having obtained a good report to faith received not the promise god having provided some better things for us that they without us not be made perfect ah they received not the promise they obtained good report god said you are very good excellent but where is the prize did god give them the prize no when will god give them the prize the day without us should not be made perfect until the church is complete they will not be given the prize that's what the bible clearly says so first reward the first prize will go for the church the heavenly salvation then at jesus second advent only the ancient world is hebrews 11 chapter the faithful warriors you see abraham isaac jacob all these things all these persons called as faithful warriors they will be resurrected back on this earth in the earthly resurrection read hebrews 11:35 bisal brother same chapter verse 35 also women receive the dead raised to life again other were tortured and uh, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection ah that they may obtain a better resurrection better means what you see this is not the best but better resurrection There's the best resurrection that's for the church, but there is a better resurrection. You see, the ancient verses will be resurrected as perfect human beings. All these things we will study in the coming days, God willing. Okay. So, what was the condition which God gave to the church? These conditions were never given to the ancient verses. 
faith warriors mentioned in hebrews 11 chapter let us read luke 14 chapter 26 and 27 ah <coughs> uh, neeta sister luke 14 chapter 26 and 27 sister kohi manis mak kaha auncha ra apno guba ama sasnit sasnit chora churi haru raju bhai haru ra tithi paine haru lai अब्राहम north south everything whatever land you see i'll give it to you what did god tell to david conquer all the enemies i'll make him your footstool as god told these things to us no deny yourself love your enemies carry the cross follow the steps of jesus read hebrews 10:20 and hebrews 3:1 also sister neeta sister hebrews 10:20 and hebrews 3:1 एउटा नया र जीवदु बाटो द्वारा जुन बाटो उहाँले त्यस पर्दा द्वारा हाम्रो निम्ति खोल्नु भयो जुन चाहिँ उहाँको शरीर हो इडुल श्रीवान यस कारण हे पवित्र भाइ हो भाइहरु सुगी बोलावटका भागीदारहरु हामीले स्वीकार गरेका प्रेरित र महापुजारीहरुलाई अर्थात क्रिस्ट यीशुलाई ध्यान देऊ वेरी गुड यू सी You read both of us, sister. Both of us finished. Yes. Okay. Good. See, it clearly says Jesus opened a new consecrated way, a living way for heaven by his death. You see, by his flesh. So that means until Jesus died on the cross, the heavenly door was not opened. Hebrews three one it says the heavenly salvation was first preached by our Jesus Christ. So, if first first preached by Jesus Christ, how do the people before him can know about the heavenly salvation? Definitely can they never know. So, those who walk in the heavenly salvation path, the narrow way, they will be given the reward to rule with Jesus Christ. That is the first resurrection. Read Revelation chapter twenty, verse six. Ah, uh, Bishop brother, can you read Revelation chapter twenty, verse six? पहिलो पुनरुत्थान मा सहभागी हुनेहरु धन्य हुन् धन्य र पवित्र हुन् इनीहरुलाई दोस्रो मृत्युको शक्तिले के गर्न सक्दैन तर तिनीहरु परमेश्वर र ख्रीष्टका पुजारी भएर उहाँसँग 1000 वर्ष सम्म राज्य गर्ने छन् 1000 इयर्स दे विल रूल विथ क्राइस्ट फर्स्ट रिजर्रेक्शन द चर्च विल बी किंग एन्ड प्रीस्ट विथ जीसस एन्ड रूल विथ हिम फर 1000 इयर्स दिस इज द हेवेनली सल्वेशन This can't be given to the whole world, you see. So the church will be with Jesus in heaven and rule for a thousand years at the second advent. So on the earth, who will be ruling? You see, it will be the ancient world is Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. They will all come on the earth and be administrators on this earth. Why? How? why god is selecting these two class of people one to rule with jesus in heaven one to rule on earth on the you see as the administrators why because in the second world there is a heaven there is a earth remember in the first world there was heaven there was earth so similarly in the second world there is heaven and the earth in the first world in the heaven the fallen angels the satan were ruling on the earth it was the jains in the second world again it is the fallen angels and the satan who is ruling but they can't come in go in the flesh they are in the earth atmosphere they can't come to this earth they can't come and manifest in flesh that power is taken that power is there only in the first world but now who are ruling on the earth in the second world First world they were jains. Second world who is there? Dear brethren, 
second world satan is ruling through the human agencies the wicked rulers of this world let us read ephesians 2 2 nita sister can you read ephesians 2 2 जुन पापहरुमा तिमीहरु बितेका समय यस संसारको रीति अनुसार आकाशको अधिकारको शासक अर्थात् त्यस आत्मा अनुसार हुन्छ जसले अहिले आज्ञा नमान्ने सन्तानहरुमा काम गर्छ वेरी गुड सी द प्रिन्स अफ द पावर अफ द एयर ए ही इज रूलिंग फ्रॉम देयर ओनली मेकिंग द पीपल अफ दिस वर्ल्ड ह टु डिसोबिडियन्स motivating them for disobedience you see children of disobedience from there only is pushing the human beings to disobey you see dear brethren and through whom corrupt politician leaders is ruling in this world you see therefore when christ comes the second coming jesus and church will be in the heaven that is the third heaven you see and earth who will be in the earth it is the ancient worthies they will be you see chief minister prime minister president in all the earth where is it given in the bible psalms 4516 psalms 4516 uh, can you read uh, neeta sister or bisal brother anybody can read psalms 4516 तपाईका पिता पुर्खाहरुको सट्टामा तपाईका छोराहरु हुनेछन् जसलाई तपाईले सारा पृथ्वीमा शासकहरु बनाउनु हुनेछ वेरी गुड इन्स्टेड अफ दाइ फादर्स दे शुड बी दाइ चिल्ड्रन दैट मीन्स व्हाट फॉर जीसस एट द फर्स्ट एडवेंट डेविड वाज जीससस फादर एंड जीसस वाज कॉल्ड द सन ऑफ डेविड बट एट द सेकंड एडवेंट that same david <coughs> won't be father for jesus he will be the son for jesus this jesus as a father will give life for david so david will be son abraham will come son to jesus christ instead of your fathers they shall be your children at the second advent and what they will be doing they shall be made princes in all the earth all the administration work will be given to whom to these people like for example you see aviation is there food department is there navy department is there forest department is there today correct no all this department who will take care in thousand years you see forest department can be given to whom noah because noah knows very well about forest all the animals he knows it so if that department is given to novak he will handle it beautifully aviation department that can be given to elia food department that can be given to joseph joseph you see seven years there was famine in israel in uh, egypt in the whole world he gave food for all the people you see and novak he knew about the you see ship so naval department can be given to him. finance department can be given to daniel because he was handling all those department if these faithful ancient worthies are given the responsibility in christ kingdom the earth will become a beautiful place these are the two class of people god is selecting in the second world the one who is going to rule with jesus the church the one who is going to rule with uh, Ah, uh, you see, on the earth, uh, ancient worthies, ancient worthies selection is already over. Church selection is still going on. Once the church is complete, God will destroy the second world. How will God destroy? Read Second Peter three seven. Second Peter three seven. Bishop brother, can you read Second Peter three seven? about the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and predictions of ungodly men aha uh -huh. the heaven and earth which are now are reserved to fire therefore this second world will be destroyed by fire fire means what 
bombs everywhere, de destruction. No, 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 dear brethren. These bombs can never destroy the evil character in human beings. It can destroy buildings. It can destroy human lives, but not human evil nature. See, for example, Ukraine. See, for example, Gaza. You see, Ukraine, Gaza totally destroyed. But are the evil characters gone? No. So, fire means what? Fire in the Bible means... You see, God's anger, not literal fire. Where is given Zephaniah 3 8? Zephaniah 3 8. Nandu brother, can you read? Nandu sir, they may see it. Nepalima Padin weapon, Nandu sir. Summon a thin quart. Okay, Nitashta, please read. Is Karan Zun Dinma Mosikar Gorna Utnesu Tis Din Sama Timurule Malai Porki Vasa Param Prabhu Vanunsa Kinavane Tinyaru Mati Miru Krod O Mirusara Baldoris Kanyauna Bani Raji Raji Raja Lai Botune Jati Jati Lai Vila Gorne Miruni Neho Kinaki Miro Zalanku Aguli Sampuna Prithivi Vasma Unita. Very good. You see, God's anger is compared to fire. In that fire only, <clears throat> this wicked system will be destroyed, not the globe. Read 2 Peter 3.10. Bishar brother, 2 Peter 3.10. Can you read? Tarapraphu kudin se rati chor aaye jai aune cha. Jun din ma aka sarutula sab the Gorira Bitijanishan, no prochondo tapli gorda, Toto Haru, Boglunishan, only pretty be at this maboyaka cam oru zoliras, sis unicha. Calm will be destroyed. Not the earth, Prithvi, not Prithvi. Calm. The earth won't be destroyed. The works in the earth, the evil works in the earth, that shall be destroyed. You see, so, dear brethren. This is how the second world will be destroyed, but the globe, you see, that will remain forever. Old system will go, Satan and uh, corrupt minister's system will go, Christ and the ancient world is rule will come. That is Christ's kingdom. Let us read Ecclesiastes 1 4. Uh, Bishal brother, can you read Ecclesiastes 1 4? Nita sister, can you read Isaiah 45 18? Ah. Yoda Pusta Bitter Zanisa Tara Ra Orko Pusta Ansa Tara Priti Bisada Sarvadara Hiran so Prithvi will remain forever. Earth will remain forever. It won't be destroyed. Ah. Nita Star read. Kinaki Poram Prabhu just le akas Risti Garnavayo. For me sure, Afi just live pretty be Rosno Bayo, Rotis like Bonano Bayo. Mohale nay, this lies stapit Gorno Baikota. Mohale this like Bir Thomas Risti Gorno Baiko. Baina, Tora two Boswas Gorius, Bonero Rosno Bayo. Mohai so one known, so for him from whom one I who Ra Oruko Hippani, China. Earth was created for water to be destroyed, made empty. No, for man to be inhabited. So man will be here on earth only, not be taken to heaven. It is only a few people who will go to heaven, heavenly salvation. This is the third heaven where Christ will rule on this earth. Second Peter 3.13. Uh, brother, can you read Second Peter 3.13 from the Bible? Or Nita sister, Second Peter 3.13 from the Bible. Can you read anybody? Second Peter 3.13. New heaven, new earth, where they will dwell righteousness because Jesus, Prince of Peace, will rule the third world. Third world, heaven and earth is there. 
Second world, heaven and earth is there, it will be destroyed. First world, heaven and earth was there, it was destroyed. Same way, when Christ returns, second advent, third world will be established. Heaven and earth will be there. That will be his kingdom. New heavens and new earth. Righteousness will tell. This is the third heaven which Apostle Paul saw in a vision. You see, let us read 2 Corinthians 12, chapter 2 to 4. Anita, sister, can you read 2 Corinthians 12, chapter 2 to 4? क्रिस्टमा म एक जना मानिसलाई चिन्छु 14 वर्ष अघि शरीरमा हो कि म जान्दिन बिना शरीर हो कि म जान्दिन परमेश्वर जान्नु हुन्छ जस यस्तो मानिस तेस्रो स्वर्गमा उठाइयो अनि म यस्तो एक जना मानिसलाई चिन्छु शरीरमा हो कि वा बिना शरीर हो म जान्दिन परमेश्वर जान्नु हुन्छ जस स्वर्गमा उठाइयो र जसले बयान गर्न नसकिने कुराहरु सुन्यो जुन कुराहरु उच्चारण गर्नु मानिसको निमित्त निम्ति उचित होइन अ यु वेंट टु थर्ड हेवन व्हाट इज दिस थर्ड हेवन एवरीबडी थिंक्स व्हाइल बी गोइंग टु हेवन देयर विल बी थ्री हेवन्स फर्स्ट हेवन यू सी अ होली स्पिरिट एंड द एंजल्स विल बी देयर सेकंड हेवन यू सी अ जीसस विल बी देयर थर्ड हेवन विल बी देयर अ गॉड इज देयर परमेश्वर इज देयर अ Everybody thinks there will be three heavens. Three heavens is there. What did Jesus taught us to pray? A father which art in heaven, father which art in third heaven. Jesus taught us to pray. No. Which is the three heavens? Dear brethren, the three heavens, you see, are the three worlds. Everybody get confused. Why? Because the word paradise is mentioned there. He was taken to paradise. Apostle Paul went to paradise. That means third heaven. You see, uh, where does it given in the Bible that paradise is heaven? You see, paradise is given, okay, but does it mean it is heaven? Hmm? For the Bible, Bible is the dictionary. If you have any question, we need to search the answer from the Bible only. Now, where is it mentioned that paradise is heaven in the Bible? Let us read. Revelation 2.7. Uh, Bishar brother, can you read Revelation 2.7? जसको कान छ उसले सुनोस् आत्माले मण्डललाई के भन्नु हुन्छ जसले जय पाउँछ उसलाई म परम प्रभुको स्वर्ग लोकको बीचमा भएको जीवनको रूपबाट खान दिनेछु जीवन गुरुकबाट खान दिनेछु अह ह व्हाट इज देयर इन द मिडल अफ प्याराडाइज व्हाट इज देयर इट सीम्स ट्री अफ लाइफ करेक्ट न इन द मिडल अफ प्याराडाइज ट्री अफ लाइफ इज देयर I will give them the permission to eat this tree of life. Now you tell me, originally, where was this tree of life? As per the Bible. Tell me who can answer. Bishal brother, Nandu brother, Nita sister. Where was this tree of life original in the Bible? Or maybe in Genesis in creations. Very good. In Garden of Eden. Read. Bishal brother, read. Genesis 2.9 Ani her nama ram ruro tha nama asal fall bhai ko hari kisim ko ruk param bhubo pramishwar le bhumi baata umar na bhai unha le bhagaj jaka bich ma jivan ko ruk ra asal ra kharaab ko gyan din ruk pani laka unha bhai ho You see tree of life in middle of garden of Eden so, originally this tree was where? In Garden of Eden. So, paradise means what? Is it heaven? It is Garden of Eden. Therefore, paradise is not heaven. Paradise means Edenic condition. You see, the word paradise is from the Greek word paradios. Paradios means what? Beautiful park. Eden was a beautiful park. When Christ returns the second advent, this earth will be made a beautiful park. You see, that is the third heaven. That is the paradise which Apostle Paul was taken, dear brethren. Therefore, dear brethren, you see, this is the subject about the three worlds. Okay? So, worlds means, you see, it is not a different planet, but it is just a three different system upon the same globe. 
first world evil angels were there wicked jains were there they were destroyed second world satan and the wicked angels uh, are invisibly ruling through the visible rulers the wicked politicians this will be destroyed by god's anger after this christ and a church will rule invisibly for thousand years upon the all the resurrected mankind but on the earth who will be there to take care of the ministerial activities it is you see the ancient worthy stepdren okay so please listen to the youtube link we will be sending the pdf notes also in uh, nepali as well as in english any doubts any questions we can ask anybody has got any questions any doubts bisal ko kai cha सुन्ने ठीक है अब मैं फिर ये तारीख फिर हेयर चुनी मॉक पीडीएफ हूँ जाऊँ जाऊँ बस ओके थैंक यू